Hey everyone, Mama Seven and Bless here. <clears throat> Excuse me, just wanted to come and make this video because um, just wanted to share some things that was on my mind. So I want to talk about what it means to be a kingdom citizen. Um, what it means to be a kingdom citizen. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because God has been dealing with me about that. Because, um, you know, when you go through things in life, in order to get through things, and we hear the scriptures all the time that tells us we are more than conquerors, and great is he that is in us and he that is in the world. And, excuse me different things like that um and I think um you know sometimes when life overtakes us we focus on our problems and our situations and the things that go on here in this carnal world and we forget who we are spiritually and in order for us as kingdom citizens to make it here on this earth because we're placed here to do a work for God we're placed here um because it was God's design for us to be here. He called us for a purpose. So there's a purpose for us to be here. But we have to recognize it. And the first things first is to realize we're here. Yes, we're in this world. In order to operate, we have to have a physical body in order to operate in this realm. So what happens is that when we come to the realization that we're in this world and we're not of it, as kingdom citizens, the things that go on in this life, um, how we deal with it is in a spiritual aspect. Um, and the first things first, number one, is to know who you are. Who are you in Christ? Who am I in Christ? Who does God say I am? Who is God to me? As a kingdom citizen, we are to know that we are seated at the right hand. Of, of you know we are seated with the father he's at the right hand of um god and you know it's all about the spiritual things it's all about when we go through things on this earth we know that God is our Father and that He promised to never leave us or forsake us. So when we go through things here on earth, it should be a little easier for us. And when I say that, it's because we know that God has our back. When when people come to attack us and when different things happen to attack us and try to kind of like knock us off because... Anytime the enemy tries to do anything to us or bring anything against us, it's a distraction because he wants us to focus on this physical world. He wants us to focus on what is going on right here and right now. And spiritual things are eternal things. They're the things that we cannot see. Um, and in order for us to operate and to move, we have to understand that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this present world. Now, the thing is that we have to understand is that the days are getting more evil um, because time is winding up. And when the enemy knows his time is short, and I say this often, the enemy knows his time is short. Every day, every hour, every second, the enemy's time becomes shorter. So we have to understand, though we do not know when the Lord shall return, we know that it's close. Whether it's 10 years from now, 9 years from now, five years from now, five minutes from now, we still don't know. And all we know is that he's on his way. He promised that. That's what he said. He said he would come back for his people. So <clears throat> that's just what it is. Um, you know, he's given us the signs of the times. He's given us his word to look to, but we have instruction through the word of God that we are to pray without ceasing. Pray all day long. Pray as much as you can. Talk to God and commune with God as much as you can because he knows exactly what we're going through. He knew it before we went through it. So that's what's important. What's important is knowing who you are, knowing that you are a kingdom citizen, knowing that we are kingdom citizens and this earth is not our home. See, because what happens, we get caught here in this physical. We get caught here in this realm. And we forget who we are. 
we, are, we begin to allow our situations and circumstances to dictate to us who we are. When our, di our, our identity as a, as a kingdom citizen lies with Christ. So we have to look at Christ to identify with who we are. We are children of God. I am a child of God. Which means that there is no lack. Because my God supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. What we have to understand is that we need to focus on who we are. That is the only way to overcome in this realm. Is to understand who we are in the spiritual realm. We need to know that when we go into battle, we are to put on the full armor of God. And so, I just want to say to those who are going through like me and many others, keep your hands clean. Be still and know that he is God. You need not fight in this battle. The battle belongs to the Lord. At the end of the day, he promised that he would never leave us, nor would he forsake us. And that no matter what we go through, if we walk into that thing knowing who has us, knowing who has our back, knowing who has our sides and our fronts, then we know that we are, therefore, more than conquerors. The only way to understand that you are more than a conqueror is by knowing who you are. Who are you in Christ? You understand what I'm saying? Like this is so important because the days are becoming evil. People don't care what they do anymore. And when people start to operate as if there is no God, that's when you have to really be aware. Time is winding up. You're going to see more and more people operating as if God does not exist, as if he doesn't see. People are going to be moving in their strength more. But what you do is you pray for your enemies. Because those of you who know, before you got saved, you knew what life was like without Christ. And... You didn't have his word to lean on. And you went through situations and circumstances without him. And you were sick because you didn't know. You didn't have a word. There was a void there. But then when God came in, your stony heart became flesh. So what's happening now is that the people of the world who don't know Christ, they are operating in pure evil because the enemy is able to use them. And see what has happened is they don't know who they are. They don't realize they are the righteousness. See, what happens is that you wonder why people are so evil. And I'm beginning to understand that they have no hope. So when people are evil, they operate without hope, right? They operate without hope. So what happens when a person operates in guilt and operates like, oh, well, there's no hereafter. Uh, there's no heaven or hell to go to. There's no God to answer to. That's, and they begin to, begin to act that way lawlessness and just all types of evil and so this is why we are to pray without ceasing we are to commune with God so God um you know can and speak to us and give us direction and show which way to go so that we can operate in peace and know that he has our back and we don't have to fight this battle we don't have to operate in this physical realm and fight with people and become toxic like people and we don't have to let what they do to us in because we have our armor on and we know we are protected and we know that God promised he would never leave us or forsake us so I just wanted to share that with you do more research spend more time with God so that you can understand you are a kingdom citizen until then have a blessed day